Welcome back to In the Paint tonight. The ISU men's basketball team was looking for consecutive road wins as Southern Illinois for the first time since 1979 through 81. It's been more than 30 years since the Sycamores have won back to back games in Carbondale. The Sycamores have won three straight against the Salukis early on in this one. Miles Walker going to work in the paint. Nifty bucket for Miles. He had 10 in just 15 minutes because of foul trouble. Lucas Idle, a spark in the first half again for ISU. Here he hits a three on the wing. Idle took two shots, made them both tonight. Off the miss, look at Jake Odom's toughness. He had 12 rebounds, 15 points, and right there a nifty dime to R.J. Mahurin. At the end of the half, Sycamore's fighting for life. Jordan Prinney knocks in a three ball, and they go to the locker room down eight. Second half, they came out gunning. It's that Prinney guy again, cross court to R.J. Mahurin for three to tie the game at 57. R.J. had a nice game with 14. He knocks down the three. Then a little later, another Odom play. He's always hustling. That's what you got to love about him. To Mahurin, to Walker. This ties the game at 59 apiece. I see it was down by 13. You got to think their rally is going to get them a win, but SIU made more plays down the stretch. Up three, Mamadou Sek puts the bucket and the foul. That made it six. He led all scores with 16. And the Sycamores' road woes and conference continue. ISU falls 73-67. The Sycamores are now 11-6 on the season, just 2-4 and four in the NBC. And Sports 10's Ross Rawling has more from Carbondale on the Sycamores' loss. Thanks, Rick. After an effort to come back and tie it twice in the second half, bottom line, the Sycamores fall short and fall to 0-3 on the road in the conference. After the game, Coach Lansing touched on a number of things. Jake Odom's toughness in a double-double playing 75% and his team's poor defensive effort. But he knows that the Sycamores have to move on for a tough game Sunday. You take a loss and you go home. Uh, you, we don't, it's not like we got a lot of time to... Uh, to sit around and, and think about it. We got uh, one of the better teams in the country coming in. We have ESPN coming in. Um, we got beat by a team that, that is playing awfully well, and Chris has got them competing. Uh, you got to pat them on the back and move on to the next one. We're going to have, we'll do what we always do, uh, whether it's a win or loss. We're going to look at the tape. Uh, we're going to see what we did right, see what we did wrong, see if we can't compete a little harder, and, and uh, see if we can uh, protect our home court on Sunday. So now two and four in the conference. The Sycamores in a pretty must-win situation here in January. It doesn't get any easier. They've got Wichita State in a whiteout at the Holman Center on Sunday. Reporting in Carbondale, Ross Rawling, Sports 10. Great job as always, Ross. Let's